this is not a sketchbook tour. In fact, it's quite the opposite. But before I get started, let me ask you a question. What is the greatest danger to an artist? When I was a wee lad, I spent my days doing two things. Playing video games and drawing. Those were the days of dial-up internet when you would get yelled at for turning on while mom was still on the phone. So that's how my days went by. I played Heli Attack on Miniclip and I drew in my sketchbook. Years went by and somewhere along the way, I stumbled upon a site called DeviantArt. Like most people my age, that's how I discovered digital art. That thing you play video games on, you can make art on it too. Like good art. Like really really good art. It made me want to learn how to paint on the e-computer too. So I signed up for an account, saved up for a tablet, and got to work. That's been my life ever since that day. I kept drawing and drawing, and alongside that, I kept posting and posting. Over the years, the platforms changed. DeviantArt, ConceptArt.org, CG Hub, but I kept posting, constantly grinding it out, just making art. I know you're thinking, why are you telling me your life story? Remember how I asked you what the greatest danger to an artist is? It's not burnout. It's not artist block. It's not even the lack of reference. It's cynicism. I'll admit it. I'm jaded. I'm telling you this because somewhere along the way, I got cynical. Somewhere along the way, I stopped drawing for myself. Somewhere along the way, I forgot that I liked drawing. My guess is that it happened around the time I started using Instagram. You know, the modern iteration of social media. The first time someone double tapped on my drawing, <gasps> someone likes my art. That, that first hit of dopamine was so addictive, there was no looking back. Well, no looking back until now. See, I got into art as a profession, and at its core, that means you're drawing for other people. Drawing for clients, drawing for a project, drawing for likes so you can sell more prints. That's the life of a pro artist. Even this right here, the, the YouTube channel. I I'm drawing for content. Don't forget to subscribe. I feel myself slowly getting sucked into this vortex of cynicism and before you know it, you're at the bottom. Every time I make art, even personal art, I'm thinking, can I turn this into a video? Will this piece get noticed by studios and get me more jobs? I wonder if my followers will like this. Yes, I try to be vulnerable on myself whenever I make art, but there's always this little voice in the back of my head going, hey, someone's gonna see this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying there's no sense of individualism or self-satisfaction in my art. In fact, that's what keeps me going, the love of the process, of doing. But every time I finish a drawing, my first instinct is to take a picture of it and post it on social media. Then I'll spend the next few hours sporadically checking my feed and refreshing it to see how many likes or views it's gotten. But when was the last time I drew purely because I like drawing? Not for the likes, not for the validation of my peers, not even to get better, just for the fun of it. I don't know. So that's what this sketchbook is for. This book is for me, not you. There will be no sketchbook tour, no time lapses, no post on Instagram or Twitter. No one, not even my closest friends will ever see this book. I look back and I want to find that kid again. That kid who played flash games and drew robots all day, just for the hell of it because I love making art. Isn't that why we got into all this to begin with? It's not for the fame or followers, and sure as hell isn't for the money. Isn't that why some of us are slaving away on a painting eight hours a day? <laughs> Tearing our hair out because the UI in Maya is so darn complicated, or moving across the country to go to school for art. It's because we like doing it. And you know, lately I've been making more friends, uh, more artist friends and it's infectious, their enthusiasm about art. I, I want to capture that feeling. So this book is my attempt at trying to find it. It's a place where I'm truly free to do whatever I want without any outside pressure or influence. A place I keep sacred and close to me. A, a secret place. A place free of cynicism.